The humoral immune response is initiated by a macrophage, which takes up an antigen, such as a bacterium or virus, and processes it. The macrophage engulfs the antigen in an endocytic vesicle and partially digests it. Class II MHC proteins bind fragments of the antigen and transport them to the cell surface for display. A cell displaying such foreign antigens on its MHC proteins is called an antigen-presenting cell. A helper T cell can bind the displayed antigen if the T cell has surface T cell receptors that correspond to a specific antigenic determinant on the displayed antigen. Once the helper T cell has docked, the antigen-presenting cell releases interleukin-1, a cytokine that activates the helper T cell. The activated T cell now produces a different cytokine, interleukin-2, as well as cell surface receptors for IL-2. IL-2 triggers helper T cells to divide. The daughter cells respond to interleukin-2 by producing a clone of cells identical to the first T cell in genetic makeup and immunologic specificity. Production of this clone completes the activation phase of the humoral immune response. In the effector phase of the humoral immune response, activated helper T cells help B cells develop into antibody producing plasma cells. Consider a B cell which has encountered the same antigen as was recognized by the original helper T cell. The B cell processes the antigen and class II MHC proteins transport the pieces for display on the B cell surface. Thus, the B cell becomes an antigen-presenting cell. If an activated helper T cell has the same specificity as the B cell, it can dock with the B cell and assist it by releasing cytokines. The cytokines trigger the B cell to divide producing a clone of cells that differentiate into plasma cells. The plasma cells produce identical antibody molecules specific for the antigenic determinant that was displayed by the first B cell and by the macrophage that activated the first helper T cell. The humoral immune system responds to every antigen in this manner, but different antigenic determinants require different specific helper T cells and B cells.